playing some Time Soldiers. An incredible video game that came out in the arcades in what I would call the later last years of the really classic years. Oh. There were different eras of video games from the classic era. And I still think in the late 80s... Ah! That's it for my continues. And I do believe in the late 80s there were still some classics coming out in arcades or 7-Elevens or other places where you could find video games. And such a video game is called Time Soldiers. And you can find Time Soldiers on the Pandora's box. It's also available on PS3 Network. And Time Soldiers was a great two-player game with that classic idea of being able to travel through time. You may remember this for Sega Master System, and they did a pretty good job. And what's really neat is, I know you've played a million video games before, but in Time Soldiers, they tell you where you got to go. In this case, the World Wars, or the Primitive Age. But I'm not in the Primitive Age. Right now, I'm in the World Wars with World War II or something, or World War III. And so you have to battle through, I can't do this with one hand, and uh, to different time zones. Get to the time zone that they want you to go to, beat the boss, and then if you don't follow the instructions of where they want you to go, in this case the primitive age, when you go into this like time machine, you'll go in circles and they'll take your money. They don't care. Um, now the one thing you may know about Time Soldiers, for those of you who know the game, is you might think it's impossible to recreate it on a home version because the arcade version had that classic thing that Ikari Warriors and Heavy Metal, uh, Heavy Barrel also had, where the controller stick would also click and rotate your player. See how my player is rotating? You see how he's rotating? Left and right? Obviously I'm getting shot, but you see how I'm rotating and shooting? Well, I'm achieving that with these buttons, and it's not easy. But if you have this game for the Pandora's box, you can go ahead and yeah, you always die. It was such a hard game. Let's pause that. You can go ahead and configure these buttons to a reasonable way to, to play it. It's not easy, but I've configured it so this finger rotates my man right. This thumb rotates my man left. This finger shoots. This finger fires special weapons. You get it? So you're kind of rotating and shooting. And it does take practice. It does take practice. And meanwhile, you're using this controller to move your guy. So you're moving your guy with your left hand, controlling, shooting, firing special weapon, and rotating left and rotating right. And as I hold the controller here, you can see I'm doing it. Firing my special weapons, rotating out, moving, and effectively playing Time Soldiers. See that? I'm rotating as I need to. This is an incredible game. A serious challenge. Great music. A lot of character. When I discovered this game, me and some friends kept going down to the 7-Eleven. And I was getting quarters any way I could. I hate to say it, but I was even stealing quarters from my big brother's drawer. He had a job, and it wasn't cool with me. I was under the spell, you know what I mean? When you'll do anything. Here I'm shooting this jeep. I don't have any more special we Oh, Oh, I do have special weapons. See? Give him the special weapon. And there is the time machine on the right. And because the time thing says go to the primitive wars, I mean the primitive age, that lets me know I need to get out of these wars. I'll score points, but I'm getting nowhere near the end of the game until I do what they tell me. So you go through the time warp. And look at this, you're in the primitive age. And it's awesome, see that? Total caveman atmosphere. Look at that, you got baby triceratops, cavemen. What a great game. Okay, so the only other thing wrong with this game, I wouldn't say wrong, is it's one of those games that has continue. And 
I don't get people who are just happy to keep hitting continue and playing a game to beat it. That's not a game. It's more of a tour. It's a exhausting tour. If you want a game, you must limit your continues. So I've decided if I'm going to beat Time Soldiers, I will give myself 10 credits, which means only 9 continues, and I'm very strict about it. I count while I'm playing the game and hitting continue. And what's cool about Time Soldiers is if you hit continue, your score does not keep going. So if you want to get a good score, you can only earn it one credit at a time. There's no cheating a score. And I just got 106,100. And I'm going to write that down as my new Time Soldiers score. 106, 100, September 2022, and I'll write 10 credits, 9 continues. I have this scorebook for all my Pandora's box games, and that's how I keep things interesting. Otherwise, what's a game if you're not, if you're just hitting continue all the time and uh, cheating? I don't believe in that. But like I say, this is a great game. Ah, look. I've got special weapons. i got rockets. When you got rockets, you can shoot over a... You can shoot up high and get these tyra, tyra, uh, triceratops. You can shoot up high and get these cavemen. Your regular button, you can't. And I am using those two fingers I told you earlier to, alt, uh, to rotate my gun. You want a good video game challenge? You try this and give yourself 10 credits and try to beat this game. Because there is an ending. You go through all different lands. Ancient China, uh, mythical Rome. It's one of those neat time traveling games that keeps it interesting with different times. And you have a bar up there that shows how much more special weapons you have. And it's all about having a gun. See, I can shoot these guys with my rockets. Oh, and if you pick up rockets again, you double up the power. If you don't die or run out. It's very challenging to upgrade your weapons to a second power or a third. Now I'm going to use the rest of my rockets on this boss and then pick up this other weapon. Because it's a different weapon. Different. This weapon has, look, spray. I'm spraying this creature. And then what do you know comes next? A giant T-Rex. Look at that. So I'm not going to keep making you watch this video, but... Well, I'll show you what Ancient Rome looks like, if you're still watching. So I am firing and rotating my gun with my thumb and pinky on those buttons I showed you. So I'm effectively playing a game on my Pandora's box where I get to run around, but also... There we go. But also rotate my gun. So when you beat the enemy that they told you to beat in the primitive age, there's a new enemy. It says Age of Rome. So I gotta go to the Age of Rome. But, yeah, I'm not gonna keep this video going. They still send you back to the primitive age, and you gotta fight your way to the next time machine, and then get to Rome. So it's very challenging. Look at that, these guys. I love these primitive levels. Look at these ancient... The earliest known creatures on the planet, I think those things are. More T, uh, baby tyra, tyra, Triceratops. And you always have a boss before you go to another section. And if you pick up a, see a weapon, but you like the weapon you have, you got to make a strategic decision on whether you should pick it up or not. I went ahead and picked up this awesome laser. Ah, very challenging game. Later on, you will die like it's going out of style. Oh, oh look at this wee the beast. I gotta turn my gun around. I got no special weapon. Very challenging. But I refuse to take any more than nine continues. Then I just stop. Ah! Time Soldiers for Sega Gen uh, Master System is very good. Plays two player. Oh! Two-player cooperative. 
and I've beaten it. And there's no cheating that game. You got a limited amount of credits. So you beat a boss, and you still got to get. There's the time machine. I'll show you what ancient Rome looks like. It's sweet. More cavemen. But I will not can play this without limiting my continues. That's the biggest thing about the later games. What are you going to do about continues? So look at this, man. We're in ancient Rome. We got these guys with armor shooting arrows at me. It's called the Age of Rome. See these guys? And these guys will give you weapons. And you eventually shoot Medusa, giant minotaur. I can't do it with one hand. You will die a lot. And then it offers you to continue. So you can find that on Pandora's Box. And Pandora's Box also has Heavy Barrel. Remember that? Where you get the weapon, it's all Heavy Barrel. It might have Akari Warriors. I don't think so. But it does have a game called Gorilla War that uses the same control. And um, it also has other games that you can rotate your gun. So if you got the dexterity, you can set your controls to do that. All right. I know I'm talking a lot. But Time Soldiers for on your Pandora's box, great game, great challenge. Talk to you. Talk to you guys later. See you next time. That's a good high score, that 106,000.